Hello and welcome to this episode of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we are looking at the soft top convertible hood for the Austin Healey 104 models. So that's applicable to the BM1 and BM2. Uh, originally the soft top convertible hoods left in a PVC Everflex material in a few different colours uh, which we do offer. Uh, we can also offer the deluxe mohair canvas which is the sort of creme de la creme of hooding. Uh, these hoods here have been done in dark blue Everflex PVC as uh, so an original uh, material and colour used on the Healy range. Obviously see our website materials and colours library for the different options we can supply. What we've got here is we've actually got two different versions. Um, we've got the fully complete soft top hood which is ready to fit to a car and then we've got the part complete version. Um, and I wanted to show you both of them because we happen to be doing two at the same time. Um, we've started offering as standard now the two options for most Healy hoods and the reason being the fitment process uh, of these hoods are especially around the um, sort of B post area around the windows around here uh, can be quite tricky especially on the earlier cars where they had the side screens to contend with as well but just generally speaking Healy hoods around this area were very temperamental in the fitment process now a fully completed hood like this you can get it to work but it's a uh, quite a bit of work and there's no guarantee unfortunately that this area here will fit perfectly on the car from side to side it really depends on your car uh, to put it into perspective these are all cut on this CNC machine so we know that our patterns are consistent each way and we know that our patterns will fit some cars absolutely perfectly but we can't guarantee it'll fit all the cars this is a very common theme with weather equipment, especially soft top hoods. Anyone that knows anything about these parts will agree that the hoods are a very unique and bespoke area of the car where all sorts of factors uh, can play um, a factor in how well they fit, mainly the condition and fitment of the hood frame metalwork itself, which can often be bent and warped crooked. Then you've got the doors, how crooked and bent they may be. Same with the pillars for the windscreen, etc. Any number of factors, not to mention obviously the manufacture of the actual hood itself. Um, now, obviously, like I say, we know that our soft tops are well made and good fits for most cars, but um, we can't guarantee the fit on all of them. And so, what we've started to do, and this is feedback from a couple of uh, well known Healy restorers that we work closely with around the world and over here in the UK, is to make part made hoods which is what this one at the front is i've obviously turned this one upside down just so you can see the underside of it as well but basically um what we've done on this one here you can see is we've effectively made it wider than it normally is but then we haven't sewn the uh sort of surround guttering on to the side of it uh we've left that uh, unsewn on the edge we've made it bigger we've made this wider here and then we've also left the back unedged and we're supplying enough material for you to basically custom fit to the car um, trim it back sew these sides on finish them off with the edging that we're supplying and finish it off and it, by doing it in that method you should end up with effectively a perfect fitting soft top hood to that particular car now it's not for the faint of heart, this is really a project for someone that is a well-known restorer of Healy's and knows what they're doing. Uh, this is what we're doing with this one here, which is going to a very, very high-end, well-known restorer in the UK. They get all of their trim and whatnot from us. Um, so be warned, basically. For anyone that wants to kind of do the job themselves, then this is a suitable kit. But just bear in mind that you know you're going to have to work with it and be really, really mindful of the fitment around those window areas during the fitment process. There is definitely a methodology to fitting soft tops and to fitting tonneaus. Um, and it's often something that an unexperienced trimmer will not really know how to do. And unfortunately, they're a bit of a one-way street. So we can offer help and advice on those. Uh, but yeah, just bear in mind that they are tricky and you have your two options there. So if you have got a local skilled upholsterer and trimmer, um, that is happy to work with these part made kits and that is the way to go to get a perfect fit to your Healy. Uh, if not, then this will work for the most part and we have plenty of examples on our website of this fully sewn version, trimmed 
relatively well, if not very well, and fitting the car quite well. So it, it really depends how pedantic you want to be. Um, going to this one here, which we're supplying to this well-known restorer, these restorers sell these cars for hundreds of thousands of pounds. So they do an excellent job and everything is sort of millimeter perfect. And we work with them on every element of the car to make sure that everything is done to the point where some of the carpets we actually supply um, one inch bigger all the way around. We send them to them, they fit them pristinely to fit that car, send them back to us and we edge them, etc. So uh, that's the sort of levels that we can go to on these things. And this is what we're starting to do is offer these options to everyone all over the world, just in case you wanted that level of fitment capability to your car. Um, that being said, let's obviously show you the basics. So obviously it's a, a soft top hood. Uh, it has the flyback plastic rear window stitched in. It's the sort of a uh, oval shaped window going around there. Uh, you have the reinforcement elements going around the back section here, which is uh, double thickness on the back there. And that allows for the bar element to get fitted that goes underneath the, uh, the eyelets domes at the back on the rear deck area for fitting to the car. Um, same around the sort of gutter channel areas there, it's all double thickness reinforced, etc. Now a feature on the 104s soft tops was in this front part here, there was a little metal panel in there. We do not supply the metal panel. We replace it with plastic, which I can feel. <laughs> it's in there. Can feel me bending it there see me bending it there you can get to it you can just see the outline of it there so if you have your original metals then obviously all you need to do is remove that plastic piece and uh, replace it with the metal one there but obviously if you don't have the metal then the plastic does the job but ideally in an ideal world you replace it with the original metal there um, obviously the front edge is left unfinished uh, whereas the rest of it is edged and bound all the way around. Uh, the front edge obviously uh, goes over the head rail effectively and gets trimmed. We also have this flap here. This is not for the head rail, this is a flap. This is, you can just about see it there if I get my focus. Just on that very front edge there. It's basically a wind flap. Um, it goes over the, the front, uh, just the top of the windscreen and kind of stops water and air from getting inside the hood. So that's that element there. Uh, you obviously have the hide and banding which goes gets tacked across the front edge there and these are the necessary tacks and fixings for the rest of the get the hide lens there as well the little shields uh, and then there's a couple of fixings that go around the sort of b post area there as you can see and around there then the back area mm -hmm. is along um kept in place with that bar i believe across there so uh yeah as per original specification basically um on this area here with the rear uh, part of the hood bows, you get these French seams, all as per original specification. And if we look at the underside here, obviously it's this part finished version there, you can see how it gets sewn in place there. Now, it's worth noting as well, and this goes down to experience of trimmers, etc. These soft tops are meant to be as tight as a glove when fitted. Absolutely, even tighter per se, it should be tight as a drum. Um, really, really tight, which means inherently they are hard to fit. Uh, people often kind of lay these over their hood frames and go, oh no, it hasn't been made right, or they start trying to fit them and they don't know the process of stretching and everything uh, isn't looking like it's gonna line up. That is intentional. These are effectively small and they're small by design so that it forces you to really, really stretch it to get it to fit the car so that when it's fitted to the car, it's completely taut. You don't get any bagginess on it whatsoever. Um, a bit of heat always helps the process. In fact, fitting it in warmer climates makes the job easier. So even if you live in a relatively cold country like the UK, uh, fit it in the summer months if we have any sun. Um, every little helps in that regard. Don't go fitting it in the winter and expect it to be easy. Um, it, they are hard pieces to fit and get right. So just bear that in mind. Uh, we've been making these for a long, long time using the same patterns and we know how they work and how they should fit. And we've also seen some absolute horror stories of how they don't fit if people don't do them correctly. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically the soft top hood. Obviously it looks a bit ruffled and crinkled because of the way 
it lies around there, but once everything's in the car, obviously you can see it will flatten out nice and nicely in there. Obviously the window um, there, we try not to bend. Try to keep that as flat as possible during the shipment process. Hence why I folded it back like that. But once on the car, obviously you'll see from our website that they look absolutely superb and made to original specifications. So yeah, thought I'd do that video there just to showcase one, the product, but the two varieties of the product that we can supply. Uh, the sort of unfinished tailored to your car version versus the finished version, which you really need to be conscious whilst fitting it to your car to ensure the best and maximum fit to your specific car. Uh, and like I say, this will work. This this concept rather is something that we will now be offering on all Austin Healey soft top hoods. So just bear that in mind. And obviously I'll do some other videos for the other models and marks that we do. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to like, subscribe and share with other classic car enthusiasts and ask any, uh, any questions in the comments section below. Uh, see you next time. Cheers.